Hello, my dear Pisces, and welcome to your you versus them love reading. Um, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, I urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. All right, and um, as I'm doing the reading, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you guys go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really helps this video, and it also really helps my channel. So let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. Let's see what messages come through for you regarding love and romance and the person you're romantically, energetically linked to. So we've got the lovers in reverse Gemini energy. So some of my Pisces, you may have been, or maybe you know you are in a third party situation. A lot of my Pisces, you feel as if you're in separation from your person, maybe a Gemini, maybe you have Gemini in your chart. It could just be the energy. You're viewing your person as the Ten of Pentacles. So this is your happily ever after. Stability, security, safety, spending decades together, taking care of old people, kids, a dog. You see your person as, yeah, your forever person. But you see the relationship as the Queen of Cups. So there's some sort of emotional imbalance. Your person is showing up as the Knight of Cups, so you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They're viewing you as the page of wands in reverse, so not taking action towards them. And they view the relationship as the sun, something that makes them very, very happy. What's going on between you guys? Four of pentacles. There's a bit of a stalemate energy here, Pisces. Five of wands, conflict, disagreements, bickering, and the ten of cups in reverse. Pisces, I feel there are two people that love each other in love with each other who are not together, okay, or who are separated or who are fighting a lot. Overall energy, the Ace of Swords, clarity, a new beginning. Some of you guys, you need to have a talk. For others of you, this can indicate reconciliation. Wow, Pisces. All right, let's see here. So we get strong Leo energy. We get strong Gemini energy. But it doesn't have to be those signs that can just, it can be an energy read. So Pisces, you're in the lovers in reverse. I wonder if you guys made a decision to move away from this person or you feel like they moved away from you or they stopped putting effort into this connection. Maybe their behavior has changed. Yeah, but you want to resolve conflict, Pisces. A lot of you, you may be trying to heal from this connection, but I feel like I feel like your heart and mind always goes back to this person because you see them as the Ten of Pentacles. They could have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces, I wonder if this person, did they reject you or did you reject them? I mean, it could be you. Maybe this person, you know, wanted to keep their options open. The Knight of Cups, you know, he's got two people there. Um, maybe there were a lot of people involved. I do feel there may have been some drama within this connection that maybe pulled you guys apart. Five of Wands is about drama, bickering, maybe too many people, friends, family. Maybe this person was getting a lot of attention. Maybe you were. Yeah, because look at how she's looking at her girlfriend there on the phone. Like, who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let's see. There was some sort of rejection here, Pisces. You rejected them. They rejected you. You might feel as if this person lost passion for you or the connection. Like, I almost get with this Page of Wands energy that it's possible that you felt they weren't either pulling their weight or they weren't as into you or this connection. I don't know. Maybe they felt that way and, like, a lot of insecurities cropped up. Yeah, because you're viewing the connection as the Queen of Cups in reverse. A lot of drama, and it may be because there was gossip or a lot of people involved with the Three of Cups. But I feel like, Pisces, there's this desire within you to heal this situation or at least to give you closure, okay, so that you can move forward. Yeah, a lot of you, you've been really drained by either not knowing or not having closure or just by the drama that's been, that's been like, this person could also have, like, I don't know if there's just like a lot of friends and family or coworkers, even if you work with this person or, you know, anything like that. I just feel like there are a lot of people involved that caused a lot of drama and insecurities, like on top of whatever was going on with you guys. Your person is the Knight of Cups. So it's like they do want to make some sort of love offer. Maybe they are out dating the lovers. Look at this Gemini energy. 
So again, I'm not going to write off that there's possibly third party energy, but Pisces, this person loves you. It may be a twin flame connection. This person wants to offer you commitment. This person wants you. They want to heal things too. I, I feel like you need to have this conversation. If you guys talk to one another, you might realize that you both want the same things. They're seeing you as the Page of Wands in reverse and the Two of Swords. So Pisces, do you have this person blocked? Is it you that has to make a decision? It's like this person can't get a read on you. They know you're not taking action. I think they're also worried that you're, you're going to reject them. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in a big way. And when I get those two Gemini cards out in those same positions, I'm seeing here that you guys could be mirroring each other and it's creating a stalemate. This person, this person is wants to see you, wants to talk to you is what I'm getting. When they think of the relationship, they see the sun and the king of cups in reverse. Look at this. The queen of cups in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. But I feel like you guys weren't emotionally available with one another. Or you felt like this person, there was a lot of drama. Maybe they were, maybe they were creating a lot of drama. But Pisces, I, I feel like they're so happy with this relationship, but they wish you'd open up more. That's what I'm getting. Like they couldn't read you with that two of swords or they have a hard time reading you. So they might go to worst case scenario or maybe they just started mirroring you. I just, you guys are mirroring each other in a really big way. We get the king and the queen of cups both in reverse. This is two people who love each other. Two people with either Gemini or water in their chart. Maybe we're dealing with Gemini cancer cusp. Doesn't have to be, but you guys, <laughs> let's see this four of pentacles holding back, holding on. I feel like you guys gave up too soon or you feel that they gave up too soon or you both feel that way about each other. The seven of wands is like, we didn't, I, I feel this strong energy of mirroring. Like you're not going to fight for me. I'm not going to fight for you. And then that sort of led to this stalemate or this wedge, but it's like, you both want it. <laughs> you both want it. Both of you don't want to be apart. Like you, neither one of you, wants to be apart. Both of you feel rejected, I feel. And both of you feel like the other person rejected you somehow. And it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, five of wands, drama, drama between you guys and the 10 of wands in reverse. But somebody wants to release these burdens and have a new beginning. In fact, I think it's both of you. Pisces, what's going on here? You and this person, you're both in like emotional turmoil over what's happened here. You both miss each other. You both love each other. You both want to heal this, but neither one of you wants to take action. This person might have you blocked. You might have them blocked. But I'm, I'm seeing they're showing me two people with their arms crossed, like waiting for the, the next one to make a move. Ten of cups in reverse. And the Six of Cups, you guys know that you had something with this Ten of Cups here. You know that you're not happy apart. Both of you want to be back together. But somebody here has got to open up emotionally. Temperance. This is, a, this, is a, this is interesting because this is an energy of two people who love each other, who I feel miss each other. But neither one is sure how the other one feels. Neither one kind of wants to take the risk and be the first one to open up. Both worried about rejection, but Spirit's saying the divine is sort of guiding you guys back together or at least to have a conversation because I don't think there's closure here. I really don't. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Wish fulfillment for both of you is coming back together. Wow. I, I just, you know, I'm not going to go so far as to say that you guys are miserable without each other. But I kind of get that vibe, you know, king and queen of cups in reverse. It's like you guys mirror each other. You guys could have a lot of similarities in your birth chart. All right, we have Sagittarius. So there could be movement within this connection during Sag season, which is right now. Seek your own deeper vision of life. Okay, to me, this kind of is like the star card. Um, some of you guys were pulled apart from this person because you needed to focus on your life's purpose, your soul's purpose, maybe your career, maybe your spirituality. A lot of you, this very well could be a twin flame connection. Okay. Ending a trauma, transform memories and symptoms. I feel, Pisces, and you guys are so empathic and caring and loving, 
but I also feel like your person is too, that you both want to heal this. You both, I feel like you are so unhappy without each other. It's time to transform memories and symptoms. Willpower, improve your willpower to reduce your stress level. So I do feel there's a lot of holding back here, Pisces. Um, but I also feel that somebody here has to take a step forward, at least for healing and closure. Because I feel a lot of you, even if your person has been out there dating or there was some sort of third party involved, your person's not satisfied. Like I, they just keep coming back to you. All this water. They want to reunite with you. There was some sort of drama, maybe third party, but Spirit's telling me it's almost irrelevant. Like this is a strong soul contract, mirrored soulmates, twin flames. Surrender with joy. Achieve greatness through surrender. Yeah, somebody here has been resisting, I think, signs and synchronicities. I feel like it could even be a little bit of both of you. And I don't want to, you know, I'm not casting blame on my dear Pisces out there, but it feels like you guys mirror each other. And I think you probably know this. I mean, you guys are so intuitive and you guys, you and this person are so intuitively linked. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you're receiving. Your person may have a real hard time opening up, but they're the lovers in the Knight of Cups. This is also somebody who's very romantic. So they absolutely romanticize, fantasize about getting back together with you, Pisces. Okay, but they see you as maybe blocking them or blocked and they're worried. They're worried that you're going to reject them. Maybe you already have. And again, this could be vice versa. Maybe you're worried. Maybe you've put in enough action and there's nothing you can do right now. It's up to them. Okay, or maybe they're feeling that way. It's hard. I mean, it's not it's not hard to read, but the energy keeps flipping because you guys mirror each other in such a big way. Okay, so I wish I had treated you better. So this person has regrets, remorse. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So somebody's going through a bit of an awakening. And it was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, wow. Overall energy, I hope that you can forgive me one day, yeah. And I do pick up on, but Spirit doesn't want me to focus too much on it, that there may have been a third party. Maybe your person chose somebody else over you. It feels more than anything, though, that that was an excuse. Like, things got really intense for, for your person. More so than they were they were expecting or they were ready for. All right. They may have picked a fight with you, Pisces. It was my fault. Okay, they might have blamed you for something that you didn't do or they picked a fight with you just, just to dip. You know what I mean? Because I think deep down they were, they were scared. And they may have had some um, trauma, some wounding, some, some negative programming that they needed to purge and release. Okay, Spirit says you can expect the apology you want to hear. So this person may be coming in to offer an apology. Just set the record straight. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, okay. So again, this person, again, very romantic. They have this energy. Maybe they swept you off your feet before. Maybe they're planning to. Again, don't let them sweep anything under the rug. You know, stand firm. An apology is beautiful and it helps for healing and closure. But what are their true motives, right? And integrity, does the situation align with your values and morals? And go slow. Wow. So temperance energy is about being patient. And this is what I was just talking about. When they come in to offer you an apology, Pisces, is it enough? Right? Is it enough? It's going to depend on what happened between you guys. And can they offer you what you deserve, what you want? Um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of you, this is a really powerful either twin flame or mirrored soulmate connection. Allow things to unfold, Pisces. Allow things to unfold. Work on you. Do your healing. The angels have heard your prayers. That's what Temperance is saying to me. Final advice for my Pisces. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Absolutely. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, I feel like there could have been a lot of big differences between you and this person, but there was something like at the core that was so similar, you know? And like I said, for a lot of you, maybe a twin. Also, this person is maybe going to come towards you and say something to you. And, you know, it's just you're, you're being asked to keep an open mind here, okay? 
and you deserve love. You absolutely do. And so it's up to you to decide, can this person give it to you? Do you want it from this person? Take time to get to know this person or get to know this person again. All right. Um, there may have been somebody here that jumped to conclusions, you know, you or your person, um, because I feel like there's some big differences between you guys, whether it's socioeconomic, racial, cultural, religious, traditional, like it, there's something here that maybe there was like coming together was so strong and so powerful, but maybe, you know, you got pushed away because of that, because this person, I feel like they got scared and getting to know each other. Wow. All right. So as you reveal your inner selves to each other, your bond deepens. So even if you do know this person really well, Pisces, I feel like all this energy is like they've changed. That's what I'm getting. Like this person's gone through some sort of awakening or some sort of transformation. They're coming in with accountability. And, you know, and that's what I'm saying. Keep an open mind, get to know them. Go slow, take time to get to know each other. Like this person might be different than when you knew them or met them or saw them last. So just keep that in mind and the ultimate decision is up to you. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm going to leave it here. Beautiful messages. Um, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Also, guys, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Those links are down below. All right. Love and light. Take care.